Okay, today I wanted to talk to you about another very important factor, the second most important factor when it comes to changing your body composition and ultimately the way that you look, recover and perform. So in my last video, you'd have seen that I elaborated on this, which was your TDEE, your total daily energy expenditure. And just to recap that once I'd done my calculation based on my current weight, my age, my body fat, and the amount of activity that I currently do on a week by week basis, it totaled me out at 2,612 calories per day. From that, I put myself in a calorie deficit of 10%. Now, just to recap, we don't have to go all guns blazing when we want to create a calorie deficit. We want something that's sustainable and that we can consistently adhere to, which then led me to have the figure of 2,350 calories per day, which is great. We've got a caloric requirement or a caloric target for us to use on our tracking devices if that is where you're looking to head. But away from calories, or as well as calories, the second most important factor is adequate protein. Now, how do we calculate this? Now, as a rule of thumb, you'll have different calculations and you'll read different research. But if we work between 1.5 and 2.5 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, that should give you an estimate of your protein target. So rather than going for 1.5 or for going for 2.5, let's go straight down the middle. Let's go for two grams. So at present, I weigh 80 kilos. Obviously, times it by two, because there's gonna be two grams per kilo. My daily target of protein is in the region of 160 grams of protein per day. So, I know that if I was to be perfect throughout the week, I've got 2,350 calories to hit, which gives us our green dot. So we've got 2,300. So on a Monday, that's there. On a Tuesday, it's there. On a Wednesday, it's there. Thursday, and we stick with quite a linear approach. However, again, if you watch my previous video, video excuse me, you'll know that that is actually quite hard to um, maintain. A reminder that we said that sometimes our week is better off starting on a Friday because if we are going to allow ourselves to you know enjoy our weekends and maybe indulge a little bit more than what our target is set at in terms of calories then we're going to adjust accordingly and we may bring these down and again just for the sake of this video I'm not going into numbers on calories today if you want numbers on calories watch the previous episode so whilst calories can be fluctuated, providing that we end up with our figure after seven days of being the same, yeah? So we've got maybe a 1,800 across the board here, and then we've got a little bit higher up there. As long as those figures end up being that times by seven, we're in a good place. But one thing, unfortunately, that you can't um, have varying day to day is your protein intake, okay? Our protein intake has to be something that's super consistent. So I'll use a purple pen for this. So we've got, let's just put them dashes in the middle of here. These now show that we've got 40 grams, we've got 80 grams, we've got 120 grams, 160 grams, and 200 grams, okay? So in increments of 40. Now. Unfortunately, you can't go, oh, I had a really bad protein day on a Monday, so on Tuesday I'm gonna go overboard and try to catch up. Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. The body doesn't allow us to have reserves of protein. Any additional protein doesn't get stored, unfortunately. Um, it gets converted into glucose, but that's a, a bit of science for another day. So what we do need to do is ensure that, regardless of what our caloric intake is on a day-to-day -day basis, our protein intake is a non-negotiable, okay? So again, if I just get my pen, we could see that we could potentially have waves of our calories being up and down, okay, throughout the week. However, what we can't see is our protein going up and down. It has to stay stable throughout the week. It is a non-negotiable, much like calories are non-negotiable. 
but they're non-negotiable on a weekly picture. Protein has to be a non-negotiable on a daily picture. Now, if you're coming from a background where you haven't really concentrated on your protein intake before, anything that's greater than what your normal consumption is, is going to seem like a lot. So what's my advice to you? Well, the average person will probably sit between this window here, 40 grams and 80 grams a day. Okay, so we may see this sort of thing occurring to begin with. Now again, we don't want that fluctuation, but we have our lives to live. So we need to be a bit more organized. We need to be a little bit more prepared. But let's just say that we get really good at getting 80 grams of protein in our diet. We're still, if your figures match mine, only halfway there. Now that's not a problem. Don't think about how far you've got to go. Think about how far you've come. Get really good at hitting 80 grams of protein a day. Then get really good at hitting 100 grams of protein per day. Okay? You catch my drift. You're gonna slowly increase it. It's going to feel abnormal to begin with. You're going to have a different priority when it comes to all your meal choices and um, when you create your meal and your menu. So gradually build it up. And one thing I want to uh, confirm is that you are not on a high protein diet. I can't stress that enough. You are on an adequate protein for you diet. This figure changes from person to person. It will also change dependent um, on, uh, well, you, you could go into a little bit more specifics in terms of taking into body fat into consideration. But as a general rule, we work on the total mass. You look at your total weight, but obviously it will differ. It will differ with you as an individual as you go through your journey, as you start to potentially lose weight and we go down to 76 kilos, you times that by two and you get a different figure. 154 grams of protein, I believe, if my maths is correct. But you get the idea that it's always changing, okay? But one thing we can't do is we can't manipulate our protein intake like we do with our calories on a day-to-day -day basis. It has to be consistent, it has to be stable. But again, rest assured that if you aren't used to having that adequate amount of protein in your diet at the moment and you can't maybe stomach it, don't worry, build it up. Build it up bit by bit. Over the week, it starts to increase, not necessarily even over a week. Over a few weeks, over the months, it will start to increase and you'll start to stomach more protein. So just to recap, in the last video I went into more detail on your TDEE and that calculates our caloric requirement over a day-to-day -day basis but we look at it as a weekly picture which allows us to be a little bit more flexible but for this episode when we're pretty much just focusing on our protein intake unfortunately it's a non-negotiable. Protein intake is something that has to be adhered to daily. Yes we're going to miss the boat every now and again but if we can hit our protein target more often than not, it's gonna stand you in good stead for developing lean muscle tissue, keeping hunger at bay, and getting the results that you want long term. I hope this has helped. I'll talk to you soon.